Hello everyone, long time no see, right? So in December 2019, we arrived here in Tanzvo and because it was cyclone season, we decided we can't sail, so we might as well go back to Europe, celebrate Christmas with our families and spend a couple of months there just to enjoy families and friends. You better not move. You better not move. Time to go. We were due to come back in April 2020, which obviously never happened, and we've been waiting ever since. It was a bit of a stressful time for us because the boat was here and the boat isn't really designed to stay in one place, especially here where the water is very warm and the UV light is quite intense and can do a lot of damage. On top of that, we have lithium batteries and although we had prepared them for storage, it can't last indefinitely because lithium battery, they can't go flat otherwise they're dead. It was just like a very stressful time. So yeah, Australia reopened their borders in uh, February and that's where we finally were able to come back. So on arrival, uh, we had a lot of things to do. So the most important thing for us was to check the batteries and then the usual we had to clean the water tank started fixing like bits and bobs that had broken a couple of electric cables that had snapped flower build was dead we have an aluminium radar reflector on top of the mass which was basically falling out so we had to remove it for now and yeah there was a lot of cleaning and sorting to do because like all of the foods was obviously expired all of the medicines as well uh, the distress flares as well so you know a lot of like little things things to throw out and replace and that sort of things. Okay, Mr. Del Rey, what's step one on the boat? Turning on the batteries and fingers crossed they are alive, <laughs> which I'm not sure about because this indicator is fading on me, so I don't know. So you've turned everything on. <laughs> everything looks all right. The light's working, but let's just do further checks, just for peace of mind, I guess. Yeah. It's full. That's what's expected. I think it's working. Hi right, babe, what's the first job? Cleaning you. <laughs> no, don't do that. Cleaning you up. Uh, I guess we're gonna splash everything because there's a... Uh, white residue tip we were and yeah. it's quite dirty so i guess that's the first job cleaning everything a lot of cleaning to do but yeah it's good we're back <laughs> powerful huh? <laughs> great first job fix the cleaner <laughs> So stylish, I think. It's not the usual white. Uh, it's uh, it's called off white. Hi right, guys, we're going into the city to try and grab some food because we have nothing on the boat. Obviously, it's literally I don't know how many degrees, but it feels like it's. 60 degrees celsius it's crazy i'm gonna be so red soon that's for sure yeah and i think the number one item on the list to buy is some um, sunblock because uh, you know we didn't bring any we'll see you in a bit when we are all red and sweaty <laughs> I really want to go there. I think it's only for kids. I can be a kid. You're not a kid, babe. I can be a kid because people looking at the 
kid. I can speak. Looking at a kid, you know, like, hey, that's my kid. I'm, I'm, I'm looking up to him. Yeah, that's Let's gonna that. go very well. <laughs> that's gonna go well. <laughs> afternoon is uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to get a car from the marina so they're renting like Coxy car um, and we need to do like a few errands buy some food mostly but um, the main thing is that we want to go around and see if we can get a portable AC um, just to put on the boat while we do all of the repairs because it's I mean it's summer in the north of Australia it's really hot it's really difficult to do to get anything done so really an AC would be amazing I think we didn't find the AC on that day, but eventually got one on Facebook Marketplace, which is a blessing. The rest of the day was pretty much dedicated to sorting and tidying up the boat, which took ages. I'm cleaning the water system. We've removed all the pipes that you can see here to wash them and then we treated the tanks. The easiest way to clean the tanks is to use bleach but that's not an option for us when we are over the water. I know the sea is so big that the dilution would be massive and the impact perhaps minimal but we believe everything we can do to avoid pollution should really be done. We did the cleaning in two steps. The first step was to add half a box of baking soda to 55 liters of water per tank. By the way, our tanks are 90 litres each. We let it sit for 10 minutes or so and then added 1 litre of vinegar per tank. Vinegar and baking soda cancel each other out and in the process they create foam. The idea with this step is to remove any residue that might sit in the tank and flush them out. The second step was to add 9 litres of white vinegar with 81 litres of water at 55 degrees or more. White vinegar at room temperature doesn't kill all bacteria, but if you heat it up, then it does. We also had to change the indicator pipe. No need to explain why, I guess. So we managed to get all of the engine uh, sorted out. We have a few engines on board. So we have the two outboards for the cat, we have the outboard for the um, dinghy, and then we have a generator and a compressor. And none of these engines would start. So we had all of them serviced, which is quite easy for most of them, but for the outboards on the cat. As always. <laughs> That was something. I mean, getting them in and out is really, really tricky. to the sleepway there's quite a few things that we need to do the first one is the deck paint because it's completely flaking everywhere so it needs to be sanded and replaced and then there's the antifoul so the antifoul is the paint that goes on the bottom of your holes that sit in the water and it's basically here to protect the holes and also avoid any living organism to attach to your boat which would slow us down and yeah, we have a little bit. Yeah, we have quite a few at the moment. So once we remove all of the previous antifoul, we will need to check for what we call osmosis. And osmosis is basically the seawater getting into your holes and weakening the wood. So if we have any osmosis, that will need to be fixed, but we can't know until we are out of the water. For the blue parts of the holes, we're hoping that we don't have to repaint and just a bit of polish will get them back to their original color, but uh, we'll have to try and see. And then the last thing that we need to repair is 
is, uh, I don't know if you remember, but back in the Solomon Island, we hit the reef and we bent the rudder. At the time it was fixed in the Solomon Island, but we'll need to check and see how it holds and see if we need to replace the entire rudder or if the, the fix is still holding and we can continue using this one. Hold on now, Harry. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hey, hold it. Hey, hold it. Okay. Oh, I'm a little bit long too, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm all right now. I'm out now. What do you do there, Huh? No, what do you Make him long. Yeah, me no have team car. Oh yeah. Oh, hey, to run now, my time. You party say. He's wrong, yeah. Hey. Too long. Looking long or one now, my time. Looking hard, he's long or one now, my car. You see, it's right. Very right, yeah. But. Uh, Huh? This is the our strongest man, we call it Samson. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's it for the repairs, hopefully. But then we have a few upgrades. Yeah, and that's the nice part. I think we're gonna start by having a water maker, but not having a portable one. We want to mount this one. For that to happen, we need to upgrade our solar panels because they are very old. The efficiency is quite low at the moment. We're gonna need to update our frame because all the new solar panels, they are way bigger. <laughs> So we need to remove everything, remove the frame. Then when we have the solar panel sorted out, we will probably need to change our MPPT because our MPPT can only charge up to 35 amp. And I'm hoping with our new solar panels, we can go above that. They are more efficient and they can charge when it's not fully bright in the sky, early in the morning and later in the afternoon. Then we have to do all the connections with the wires. Should be fairly simple. Yeah, no, it's easy. So this one here is the main positive line okay so that one comes along here and goes down and then this will be the main negative so they're all in series yes so positive it goes positive negative positive negative positive negative yeah and they're all plug and play. And then after that, a few more upgrades. We wanted to get uh, internet on board. So we bought an antenna, which we need to mount uh, on top of the mast. And then the last thing is really uh, those trampolines at the front of the boat. So they're not really holding anymore, meaning that each time I step on it, there's a hole. <laughs> so, so yeah, we will figure out uh, what we need exactly. And maybe we won't do that straight away, but that's definitely an upgrade that's uh, coming up in the next few months. We'll see you next week when we are in the slipway.